The Avengers vs. The Peter Factor by Midnight Wolf 2192 Chapter 1 Tony Stark Tony had been the first Avenger to fall for the Peter Factor as it had come to be known. And it happened purely by accident. Sure, Tony's intentions on first meeting Peter had been purely self-indulgent. But as he got to know the kid, that changed. Sooner than expected, Peter's happiness became Tony's ultimate goal. At first, Peter had been an asset. Spider-Man would be useful in a fight against Cap and his team. From what the videos Tony had seen, this new player on the hero scene was as strong, if not stronger, than Cap. That would help even out the teams, since Cap had himself and Barnes as the muscle. So, Tony flew the Spider-Kid to Germany, revamped his suit, and pointed him in the direction of the fight. After the whole Zemo situation was sorted and the Accords in, were updated appropriately, that took months in, in itself. Secretary Wasp was a supreme man-cow and had taken the collective efforts of both Pepper and Rhodey to keep Tony from blasting him with his gauntlets. The rogue adventures returned to the newly repurchased Stark Tower. Tony was not on speaking terms with Barnes or Rogers, was only slightly frosty towards Wanda and had little resentment for Scott and Clint if only because he knew those two were involved to protect their families. Tony was even able to forgive Natasha, only because she cornered him one night and forced him to hash everything out with her. He was burying himself in work, anything to keep him occupied and away from the common areas where the others would occupy. This hadn't escaped the notice of those closest to him, and soon Pepper, Rhodey and Happy were having secret meetings behind Tony's back to try to strategize a way to get Tony out of his lab. I've got it, Happy finally announced during one of their meetings. Pepper and Rhodey looked over at the now smiling asset manager as he pulled out his phone. The kid. What kid? Pepper asked, but after a moment, Rhodey let out a noise of agreement. What kid? Tony hasn't some mystery child I need to be worried about, does he? Please tell me I don't have a PR nightmare on my hands. Nothing like that, boss, Happy said. The spider kid, the one he took to Germany. How can he help? Rhodey had asked. Tony has me monitoring all of the things he does. I can just give him back to him and saying I'm getting too busy. We can encourage Tony to work with Peter, maybe make him a proper intern or something. That will give him something to focus on. And I swear I'll deny this if either of you say anything. That kid could bring anyone out of their shell. He's like an overexcited puppy. It would be perfect for Tony, Happy said. Once Pepper and Rhodey mulled this idea over, they both nodded in agreement. The next day, Happy had walked into Tony's room and had grabbed the man's phone from the table beside him. Happy, what the heck are you doing? Tony asked. Happy looked over at his friend and shook his head. His face was sunken. His usually immaculately groomed face was shaggy. He had dark circles under his eyes, indicating to all that who saw that he had not slept properly in a while giving you your spider kid back. Happy said he programmed Peter's number and email into the phone and saved the details. Boss lady has increased my asset work so I can't keep monitoring him. Your turn. But happy. Tony attempted to protest and the other man simply glared. I don't know how to deal with a kid. Tony, he's a teenager. They're pretty self-sufficient. Happy replied and Tony scoffed. Look, all you have to do is reply to his messages every so often. He's pretty smart if all the ramblings I keep getting are anything to go by. Maybe you could invite him over to the tower. Why? Does he need tech or something? Tony asked. Happy let out an inaudible growl. His friend genuinely thought that people only wanted him for what he could give them. Happy wanted to deck anyone who ever made Tony feel this way. And like his worth was based on what they could give him. Nah, I don't think so. Honestly, I think he's bored at school. That's probably why I get so many damn messages from him. Happy said, borderline fondly. Just shoot him a message, tell him to swing by. Make it a lab day or something. Have him build something if you really need proof that the kid who made his own web fluid and hacked your suit is smart enough to be here. Without waiting for an answer, Happy left Tony's lab. He instructed Friday to forward all voicemails, messages and emails from Peter to Tony's phone and walked back up to Pepper's office with a smile and a spring in his step. How did he take it? Pepper asked as Happy entered. Didn't give him much of a choice. Operation Spider is a go, ma'am. 
Kathy said, and both of them laughed. Meanwhile, Tony's phone had blown up with the messages that Happy had forwarded. Friday, what do I do with a teenager? Friday asked his AI helplessly. I'm going to completely ruin him. I don't think that's possible, boss. Friday's comforting voice echoed around the lab. Peter seems to be an, an intelligent child. Perhaps treat him like an adult and go from there. Thanks, baby girl, Tony said as he picked up his phone. He moved away from the bench and sat down on the couch in the corner of the lab. He then spent the next two hours listening to all of Peter's voicemails and reading all the emails and messages. Most of them were just updates about the trolls he had done, but some of the emails and messages were more scientific. Some of them were ideas for improvements to his web fluid, while others were potential upgrades for his suit. Boss? Friday's voice broke out of Tony's reverie. He looked up at one of the cameras and nodded for Friday to continue. Platypus is requesting you join him for lunch. He says he will meet you in your private floor in 15 minutes time. I have been ordered to play bubblegum pop until you leave your lab, just so you know. Thanks for letting me know, sweetheart. Tony said. He then finally listened to all the cues his body and it was realised he was starving. I hope he's ordered something good.